or welcome if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't done so yet. I'm going to be taking you through all the reasons why I decided to purchase this Nespresso Latissima Pro from the perspective of somebody with a disability, with a chronic illness, with uh, one-sided weakness, with uh, many different limitations. I hope I can give some inspiration to other people with similar uh, limitations or disabilities like mine or even um, somebody just with low energy or things like chronic pain, chronic fatigue limited energy or limited spoons as we call it here in the Spoonie community. If you know about the spoon theory then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this, everything that I talk about I think applies to um, many different people in our community um, and even outside as well. So just keep watching for all the reasons why I chose to buy this particular coffee machine over your average coffee machine or a base model of the Nespresso. I know the title is a little clickbaity, but it really was not that expensive. I got it on Facebook Marketplace secondhand, gently used, and for half the price. So that's one of the only reasons that I decided to um, pull the trigger and buy such an expensive machine because I did find it for practically half price. There are so many reasons why I chose to purchase this one over your base Nespresso machine, a Keurig, a basic one from Amazon, or a coffee pot. Besides the fact that I purchased this for so many reasons due to my limitations and my disability, that was at the forefront of my mind when deciding which coffee machine to purchase for my own place. I also grew up with an espresso. Uh, my parents have an espresso and I've always had an espresso so I'm just used to it. I immediately went down the route of an espresso but all the reasons why I chose to purchase this machine over another still applies I think to other people's limitations or disabilities. Um, using a Keurig you could go out and buy another Nespresso, another Keurig, some other brand on Amazon or anywhere following the logic of these particular reasons why I purchased uh, this Nespresso. So it won't be a full-on review, like a tech review. I'm not a tech tech reviewer. That's not the point of my channel. The point is to come at you from the perspective of somebody with a chronic illness, with uh, different physical limitations, and give you the reasons why I purchased certain devices, tech, or equipment and hopefully they help you somebody with a chronic illness or some kind of disability weakness limitation okay so I've turned you around so I can see what I'm doing and I'm also facing the camera facing the Nespresso I can link this cart below as well it's from Amazon it's really short because I'm really short and it works perfectly so the Nespresso I would say is only a foot taller so 12 inches again all the dimensions and specificities will be in the link to the Nespresso on the Nespresso website um, but I would say looking at it it's about only a foot tall so it's really not that tall and I can reach everything everything's at my height let's start off with the whole reason for this video which is why did I purchase this one in particular over another one uh, first reason is because of the huge milk jug. This particular milk frother is quite huge and I only have to refill it every couple days because I only make one coffee in the morning or I use the cappuccino setting which is like a shot of coffee and the equivalent amount in frothed milk on top. So I do two cappuccinos in one cup every morning that amount of coffee and that amount of milk um, I only have to refill it every couple days so not having to pour the milk into a frother a separate milk frother every morning and then cleaning that out saves a lot of energy for me somebody with limited energy limited amount of spoons where do I want to spend those 
and what I want to put my energy into, not having to refill and wash a milk frother every morning. So even though this hand is weaker, I'm still able to come really close to it, bring my body really close to it, hold it with the amount of limited grip or low grip that I have with the right hand, with the left hand as well, grasp it with my dominant hand and pull, and it pulls out like that, and I just put it back in, put this entire thing back in the fridge every single morning, and then I put it, clip it right back in here. That didn't take a lot of um, strength or force. You just pull it out and pull it back in. So somebody with, even if their dominant hand is weaker, I would think you'd still be able to do it. Now I'm unable to do it one-handed. Well, I kind of just did. But I wouldn't trust myself. I'd want my left hand to hold it as well, just so it doesn't spill one way or another. But for the most part, you can do it with one hand. Now it, is, it isn't full, so it might be a little bit heavier, but not much. Even though you only have to clean it every couple days, and not as frequently as an everyday milk frother, what's great about it is it does have a clean function on there. So you turn the knob, well, I won't do it because it might spurt out um, into nothing. I put a little uh, ramekin there every morning, which is not too much energy because they're just in my drawers right there. Or I use a dirty one because I'm not going to be use it, drinking it. Obviously, it's dirty water. I put it here. I adjust the nozzle, which is super lightweight, not that heavy, not that hard to adjust. I turn it to clean, and it spurts out really hot, boiling water through the spout and it cleans it. I know that when I put it back in the fridge every day, this, um, the spout inside is not, um, collecting any bacteria and it is clean inside. Obviously I will have to clean the whole chamber every couple days. I flip it up like this and it's really not that heavy to push down either and to push the pod through. Something I also want to highlight is the large water tank in the back. I've moved the second camera around and I've also moved the Nespresso slightly so you can see um, just how big it is. I would say that holds, I think it holds five cups and that again lasts me several days making two cappuccinos a day into one coffee. And this machine, I would say, is not too heavy. I personally cannot lift it. I wouldn't be able to lift it just because my left arm is so much weaker and I can lift it with one arm. But I can easily spin it, just kind of skid it a little bit. It doesn't scratch or break anything. I just gently kind of uh, lift it up on one side and turn it with my dominant hand turn it just enough so I can reach the back of the tank as you're able to see in the second camera that I open the lid which is plastic and has no locking mechanism so it's super easy to just flip up and what I do is get a plastic cup so it's lightweight go over to my water filter dispenser and pour some filtered water you can use bottled water, you can use filtered water from a tap, anything you want. Um, I would recommend filtered just because you're drinking it. It will boil into coffee, but um, I don't know if that exactly gets rid of all the germs, so I use filtered water. I use a couple cups of filtered water and pour that into the back of the dispenser, close it, and put it back. And it's as simple as that. Um, you can take the whole tank out. You can lift it up and out from the Nespresso and take the tank over to the tap or take the tank over to wherever you have your filtered water. But I personally, with my limitations, I would not do that because although it might be lightweight when it's empty because it's just plastic, it will be heavier trying to bring it back over to the Nespresso. So I'd rather bring a cup or two of water every time and fill it that way through a spout 
rather than bringing five cups of water back over and trying to lock it back into the Nespresso if that makes sense. Is that just my personal preference? But the main reason I bring it up is because of the water tank capacity and how large it is. So last but not least, the last thing that I can think of uh, for a reason for purchasing this particular Nespresso and my for my needs is the fact that it can hold, I think, 12 to 13 Nespresso pods. And I'll show you where in the second camera. Once you lift this up, the old pod falls into the uh, container back here and I will show you what that looks like and how easy that is to pull out and dispense or to dispose of after. Okay, so I know I said the last thing was the last thing, but actually um, I just realized that this machine is also a hot water boiler as well. Uh, slash kettle, whatever you want to call it. It boils water, basically. That is amazing. Uh, no more lifting heavy jugs of hot boiling water uh, for my tea. It just comes out of a spout. I demonstrated it in the second camera, and I'll insert that footage right now to play over this. But it is just a simple little super lightweight piece of plastic that you stick into the hole where the milk jug is. You put that in, the Nespresso detects that it's in and gives you the option to have hot water. That is now another device that you don't have to have on your counter, so it declutters your counter a little bit, so that's great. But it also means if you have trouble lifting anything or pouring that um, particular motion, or if you have limited range of motion like I do, the actual act of lifting with both hands, or if you can't lift with both hands or arms, and you only have one arm, or one dominant arm I should say, then, and you can't grasp or maneuver a hot boiling kettle for fear of like burning yourself, or lift it across the, the kitchen to fill up your mug, this uh, machine will do that for you. You just have to place the mug under the spout and it goes once you hit the button and it's perfect. And I would say it actually is quite hot. It does get it quite boiling so that is amazing. I can have a cup of tea without fear of burning myself. So uh, for all of those reasons I definitely would recommend this particular machine or any other machine that does what this one does. So to recap, a large capacity milk frother for infrequent fill up, infrequent wash up, a large capacity water tank, again for infrequent clean up, infrequent fill up to save on energy and all of that, a large capacity pod holder that holds several pods so you don't have to dispose of the pods so frequently bonus a hot water boiler so you don't have to maneuver a large heavy kettle. It also makes a lot of different coffees so besides the fact that it is helpful and very useful for somebody with a disability or chronic illness it's actually really really fun. I love coffee. I love the taste of an espresso coffee in particular so I have caramel and coffee pods. They taste delicious and I also make my own caramel. I hope you loved this review of the Nespresso Latissima Pro and how it works for me. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me then subscribe and like I said I will be making many more videos to come similar to this on the devices and technologies and adaptive equipment that I use in everyday life to make my life with a disability and chronic illness uh, so much easier. So turn on notifications to get notified every time I make those videos. I will be posting way more frequently now that I am uh, in my own apartment uh, describing all of these adaptive technologies and also um, I'm so eager to buy a ton more from Amazon but I'm gonna hold off until I know that people are watching and interacting with these videos and actually find them helpful. So please do like and subscribe and comment and share with anybody else that you think 
would find this type of video helpful. Please comment with any questions or DM me on my Instagram with any questions you have whatsoever about my particular disability and my chronic illness and health in general. I'm, I'm an open book. I'm happy to answer anything. And even if you have more questions about the Nespresso that I haven't gone over and you can't find them anywhere else on the Nespresso website, please don't hesitate to me comment on this video whatever you like and I look forward to your participation in this video and all the videos to come and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, love you all. See you soon. Bye!